After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The inmates that we house here in the county, they're waiting for their court dates. So they're not all guilty. A lot of inmates were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're not here to punish them. We're just detaining them for that short time while they go on to court dates. We got a disturbance with an inmate in 56 Bravo. Put your hands out. Okay, I'm advising you that you need to, you need to put your hands out. Okay. Okay, when well you realize that you realize that we're going to spray. You're going to be sprayed. All right, you've been asked enough. Let me grab your arm, sir. numerous times to place his hands through the bean shoe so that we could place restraints on him so we could go check his cell. The mate continues to refuse. Uh, Sergeant Gibson administer <clears throat> administered OC spray. I have fog, so it's uh, <coughs> it'll affect and make the respiratory system a lot better than the, this stream will. You ready to comply? <coughs> Place your blanket down. Up. The emergency response uh, certified officers have been notified. They'll suit up in their gear in 56. At that time, we'll brief them how the cell extraction will commence. We have um, two officers on arms, two officers on legs. Officers on the arms will apply restraints to his arms. Uh, the two officers on his legs will apply the leg restraints to their legs. Listen up, guys. We're going hard and fast. We don't have to bring him down in the cell because there's not, not enough room. Let's try to bring him outside. Then we'll take him on down and secure him. Questions, comments, complaints? None? All right, guys, let's suit up. You make no aggressive move. Get over there and lay down. Get over there and lay down. Get over there and lay down. Now, right there on the floor. Lay down. No, on the floor, on the floor, on the floor. It's not gonna fly. Are we good? Davis, you got it? You got it? You got it? We need the hose. Huh? We need the hose. Yeah. You got, you got a shower? Let's get the hose. The water going? Nah, what is that, up, that, that on my head, man? Water going? On me, man. Boom. Nah, I don't want that spraying down on me, man. Well, it's going to happen. Hey, hold on. It's hold water. On. Uh, inmate. 
is being decontaminated with cold water for approximately 10 minutes. Um, after this, we'll get him in a dry uniform, make sure that his cell is clean, and put him right back in the cell where he came from. Okay, plenty of chances. Combined. All right, gents, we're done. It's 10 minutes. Let's bring him out and have a major check. Take motor, table, and day room. I got a cell just for you. I have down on the ground, head towards the door. No, 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 head towards the door. Head towards the door. Uh -uh. Turn him around. Head this way. We're removing his uh, wet uniforms, probably contaminated with OC spray as well. Uh, we got him a dry uniform in there, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that his uh, wet uniform is off. started all this? No, inmate wouldn't comply. We had to do mandatory window checks. He wouldn't come up. So we asked, order, advised, gave me every opportunity to comply, and he just never would. So we had to deploy OC. He didn't benefit in any way for acting up tonight. He's still in the same cell. In fact, he's going to be there longer now uh, based off of his behavior tonight. been on the department for about a year and a half now and I have to say it's probably one of the best jobs you can have. And the great things about working for the department is really just the fact that you get to work the jail and when you work the jail you learn a lot about yourself and you learn a lot about how to interact with criminals. There's a lot of guys who don't want to do it because of the danger factor and there's a lot of guys who want to do it because of the danger factor so it's one of the best parts about this job. Face the car right there. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. It's gone. Hollywood! Right. These guys are just going to make sure everything's going to be yeah. okay, all right? That's all they're doing. That's it. How much you have to drink today, man? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Just from the public. Trouble from the get-go. What's going on? Uh, Were you out tonight? I having fun with some chicks. Yeah. How'd you meet up with them? They just call me yo, what's up, baby boy? I'm like, tell them what's up. Girl. They called you baby boy? Yeah. And then so they just they all kissing me all of a sudden, boom, this cops coming into me like, whoa, what the You weren't drinking at all tonight? No. No, because you you kinda smell like it. You kinda No. How old are you? Twenty one. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah. Would you mind standing up and I can take and check your pockets for you? No problem. Okay. Just stand right there. Stand right there. Stand right there. Stand right there. I'm going to take and see what you this have in your pocket. pocket. This pocket? You don't have anything sharp on you, do you? No, I don't got Are you sure it's in this pocket? See, it's trying me like a terrorist, people. No, I just want to make sure we got an ID for you. Oh, it's checking. Oh, man. Oh, people. Whoa, people. Whoa. Whoa, people. Whoa. You had a driver's license? Oh, or? hell no. <laughs> Where do you think it might be? My homie took it from me. Your homie took it from you. Okay. All right, walk this way. We're going to get you in the booking process. All right, now I got to go to where the evil dude is. Here. Let me take our Please. Ow. Ow. Hi, Hi. 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 Come on. Can I take my shoes? No, you don't get your shoes when you go. Okay. Kneel down. I got to kneel down to You got to kneel down. You think we need to firm up? Mm. Yeah, we'll just put them Whoa. Yeah, let's probably prone them out. Hey, no, hey, no, no it's down on your chest. Uh, hey, relax. Just relax, relax, Edward. Just relax. Edward, guys. relax. Edward. Don't, re don't resist, just relax. Uh, all right. All right. How's that hurt? Welcome. Okay. Uh, it looks like. 
Poway Sheriff's Department uh, has picked him up for being drunk in public and it's ruining his night. He's just a dumb drunk kid, that's all he is. And I have a feeling he's gonna have a long career of coming here or wasted youth right there. Can I read your pistol? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Over here. What's that? I'm just making sure I'm working on it. Crowd. What's going on, Ralph? How are you doing? My daughter hit me, I hit her back. That's that. You, know? you hit me, my, my, my roof, put hands on me, I put hands on you. That's that. Sometimes you need to put your hands in your pocket. Son, when your kids put hands on you, you put them back. That's that. Now, if you got kids, find out. What I didn't do when they were babies, I'm gonna do it now. But Ralph, when you were a little boy, were you told it's okay to hit girls? I, listen, listen. No, no, no. Yes, when sir. I was a baby? Yeah. Son, I got hit for everybody. I got 13 brothers. Mm -hmm. And I got spanked for every one of them. Okay, but were you ever told... You understand it's, what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, but were you ever yeah, told it's not good to hit I'll, girls? It was annoying no, to hit not, girls? No, it's not. Okay. If, if she hits you first, what are you gonna do? Stay walk there. Walk away. And, Ralph, Son, Ralph, all you have to do is walk away. She hit me away. first. Just walk she away. She knocked man. me down. Okay, then just walk away, Ralph. Son, she knocked me down two times. You can't be doing. You can't have all this pride, oh, man. Look, oh, where, no, look no. where you end up. He don't understand what I'm saying. I'm a uh, man. So you're, am I. You're, you're my baby. You don't hit your dad. That's the last thing you do. That's a sin. Okay, then just walk so away. I got up. No, no, I got up and she <clears> came at me again. So I stopped her with open hand. Bam. Are you going to teach your grandbaby that it's all right to hit women? Is, your, now, is it a grandson? You, know, you can sit grand... here and talk all that smack you want to talk, but I'll try to teach my granddaughter one thing. If you're going to pull that with me, honey, I'll smack you at This is my house. You live at my house. Ralph, I'm just, that's you that. know, son, son. If that's hey, really the way you hey, feel, Ralph. Saying? My wife knows that. You put your hand on me, I'll put it back. That's that. OK, let's walk this way, if you would, please. Yeah. All I'm going to do is try and help I'm, you get I'm, to the book. I'm cooperative. Very cooperative. Very cooperative. Very cooperative. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you take me. Take him go inside, have a seat a little bit. Try and get you sobered up a little bit. Sobered up. I'll get out of here. Rob, you're a little too drunk to be put with everyone else right now, OK? So we're going to give you some time to sober up by yourself. Be a man. Be for real. Take care of what you got to take care of. I'll beat the up you when it comes to my kid. You don't know me. You don't know me. I look little. All right, Ralph, just scoot over here so this officer can get out of here. Packages. Oh, I know, man. Yeah. We're going to go right over here. Ralph, have a seat right inside there. OK. okay. Anything else you want to say, Ralph? Yeah, I do. I'm innocent. Sir. The, the, <laughs> guy, the, guy, the guy I really want to shake hands to is the guy that brought me here. And he did. Well, it looks like he made a new friend there. You guys can. After he gets out in 72 hours on Monday, you guys can go hang out or something. Sounds like he was brought in in 2002 for the same thing, so always there's some family issues. Probably can get some family counseling, it'll be okay. And Corral's a new drinking buddy. I really love this job because every day is different and you never know what you're going to expect. Basically, the booking process here at Tulsa County Jail starts with the inmates coming in. We search them. They come to the general area and they get to use the phone to call their relatives to try to bond out of jail. Another thing about this job, I like helping the community. I feel like I'm really doing something and this is one of those uh, type of jobs where, you know, everything matters. Nice. Nobody can use the phone. This is Have a why seat. more than one people don't stand. Have a seat. Sit up in the chair. It goes for both of y'all. Either one of you. Okay? So this is done. All right. All right. Hey, What's going on over there? Oh, a couple guys having an argument about the phone, and I told them if they didn't stop, I was going to take them off the phone. OK. Don't touch me!
Stop resisting. Stop now or I'm going to tase you. Do you understand? He put his hands on me. He put his hands on me. Stand up. Don't put your hands on me. You don't know me. Don't touch me. He put his hands on me. Well, uh, two guys have a dispute over the telephone, and uh, the one guy got upset, got up, stood up, the other guy swung at him, they started fighting. So, something about a time issue, but the guy had only been on the phone a couple of minutes. Somebody punched somebody. I think he swung first because I think the other guy put hands on him, like, to get him off the phone. Yeah. Green swung first. Green did? Yeah. And that's the one in pen, right? Because he swung on him, then the other one jumped on him. So you're going to put him up? Yeah, because this was the second time right. he was up there at the phone threatening people. and Because the first time we had to walk over there, it was because he was running his mouth with the guy that's on the phone right now. OK. So we think the guy in 10 has just kind of got sucked into the deal? Well, he no. probably instigated it. Yeah, they were both running their mouths at each other. OK. We got him locked down for a little while, let him calm down, and pull him back out in a little while and try to finish the process. Take off your shoes. Oh, OK. No. All right. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands on the wall, please. Spread your legs a little bit. OK, sir, while I'm doing a search, I'm going to ask that you keep your hands on the wall at all times, OK? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lift his leg back, sir. Walk to that metal detector right there. Have a seat on the front row. We'll get yourself back to you. What was that? Eight baggies? Yeah, eight bags. Uh, the other officer over here tested this one right here. And it field tested a presumptive positive for cocaine. Since all of them are packaged the same, the same substance, the same material, we're going to assume that they're all the same. So we're going to charge him with possession, cocaine with intent to distribute, and also possession, marijuana, AFCF, okay. and let the DA decide if they want to charge him with possession with intent or with smuggling into a jail. OK. I'll talk to you and get a statement from you here in a minute for the report. All right. Found marijuana and cocaine in your sock. So your total bond now is ten thousand four hundred dollars. Man, how is that, man? I, I didn't see nothing. They didn't pull nothing out of my pockets or nothing. I searched them and I found the bag of marijuana and the eight little baggies of cocaine. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> okay. You don't remember me pulling that stuff out of your sock when I was searching? I never did turn around. Your sock was holding dope, man. But the whole point, man, I didn't know I had that on me. That's the whole point, man. The I whole point. I did not know you have something in your sock. Hell, yeah, I man, he, he searched me through. He I pulled know, my pocket out. How can you everything. not know you, you have that. something in your sock? Because when he pulled me down here, he no, said, man, my I, property look, is. I'm not asking how, what he did. You had stuff in your sock. How do you not know you have marijuana and what else was okay. it? Cocaine in your sock. I didn't know that. Well, the whole point about it is, man, he threw a church, man. Tell it to the judge. No. Um. He's coming in here for public intoxication, come to find out he had the marijuana and cocaine, and now he's going to be charged with uh, possession. Would have been a 24 to 40 hour charge with the public intoxication. Now it's going to be a little longer. And his bond went from 150 to over 10,000. So he's going to be here for a while.
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight i've been thinking about my home i've been thinking about my kids i don't wanna be alone i got